Hello everyone and let's talk about 3.0 and we're going to talk about how the 3.0 is going to change the gameplay style. Now a lot of us are going to be in for a shock when 3.0 launches because we're seeing a lot of bad habits. It's time to start dropping these bad habits that we've picked up throughout the expansion and everybody picks them up throughout the expansion. I'm guilty of that myself. Maybe not healing the most efficiently, maybe not doing the most efficient damage, maybe not picking up the adds as fast. These things, we need to we need to kind of drop them and we need to drop out of these bad habits. And bad habits for groups as well, like ignoring mechanics, like the first droid on fucking Brontes. Hate this, I hate people who do this. I did it as DPS the other day. And I managed to down it. I downed it on my own as my shadow, you know, but I'm a shadow. We're overpowered, really, and I could down it on my own in 16-man mode. So you can tell how much DPS the shadow does now. Bear in mind that DPS is going down in the next expansion, so we're going to have to prepare for that. We're going to have to be prepared to not be as overpowered as we are, because we are so overpowered in this expansion currently. Uh, we've been overpowered really since 2.4 launched last year. So really gearing has become kind of trivial and kind of nothing. So gearing will be, hopefully we'll get back to gearing being a kind of lengthier process than it was. Uh, it usually is quite lengthy at the start of an expansion and then they release the next tier and then they have catch up things like Oricon was kind of a catch-up thing and they of course downgraded all the uh, gear tiers so what used to cost elite comms now cost basic comms right now and what cost ultimate comms then cost elite comms and they added a new tier which was the 180 tier for the ultimate comms so again they made gear easier to obtain over the course of the expansion so they'll probably do the same thing in 3.0 hopefully hopefully we'll get the same thing but again, this is going to be, we're going to have to sharpen up our gameplay massively because it is going to be a shock for some people 3.0. That means we're going to have to do things. We're going to have to CC ads. We're going to have to be uh, locking down, uh, using the kill order. I made a video about kill order for DPS. It's going to be a thing in 3.0 because your healer can't deal with that. Right now, your healer can deal with it. You can produce enough damage as a healer. I can deal with some ads on my own. It's fine, you know, as a 180 geared healer with, I think, two, I have two 180 geared healers and one that's uh, 168 slash 180, so I can deal with it on those kind of gear. If we're talking about trash in an HM flashpoint in that kind of sense, I can deal with that trash. I can deal with those normal enemies fairly easily as a healer, but in 3.0, because the thing is we're going to be doing more healing in 3.0, we're going to be doing more healing because the tanks won't be as well geared. Bear in mind that gear is related to content, so gear scales only with content, so in terms of, we are going to get weaker in terms of the content, because if our gear is 180, 180 uh, currently at level 55 is, you know, it's the second highest tier of gear in the game. You can do every single piece of content in the game with 180 gear. 186 is for those who do Nightmare, there's nothing that's required. Uh, as 186 uh, from a group perspective, maybe soloing things, you might need some 186 gear for doing some of the harder solos. But for now, uh, in the game, we are 180 is pretty good gear. At level 60, 180 is going to be the basic entry level gear. Doing HM flashpoints in 180 is going to be, it's not going to be overly challenging, but it should be harder. Than when we get into the raiding gear and we get the what is it 189 192 whatever it's going to be called some people say it's 189 some people say it's 192 so what i hope is that you'll probably be 180 for the hm flashpoints and the hm flashpoint hopefully we'll drop 186 gear maybe 186 blue 186 purple you might get from the dread fortress dread palace hm which i don't like to be honest with you i'd rather have the uh what I'd rather have, you know, 180 being the entry level and 192 being like entry level for ops, and you get the 192 gear by doing HM flashpoints and by doing things like dailies and so forth. You could get some maybe non set bonus 192 pieces uh, from doing dailies, but then again, they are looking like it's going to be 180 required for ops, which is disappointing because it means you can just jump straight into raids 
after going uh, from from level 60. I don't want that. I want to go through some of the content. I want to finish some of the story content. I want to do some of the HM Flashpoint content because I like, as a healer, I like uh, small group content. I like challenging small group content as a healer. And speaking of challenging small group content as a healer, I've been playing Warlords of Draenor. That's how I've been preparing for Shadow of Revan as a healer. I've been playing as a Restal Shaman, which is fun. It's fun. It's quite challenging. Some of the dungeons are quite interesting. They're quite interesting. I like quite a few of the dungeons. I'm only level 95 right now, so I'm getting to the serious dungeons or like 95 to 100 or where it gets quite hard, and then the heroic versions when you hit 100 are going to be hard. So hopefully I'm using that to prepare because again we can use war I'm using warlords of draenor at least as a sort of as a barometer to judge your healing and judge your people on a new expansion it's going pretty well so far actually I've never had a wipe yet in any of the warlords dungeons so far been pretty close a few occasions we've lost a couple of people due to silly mistakes people standing in where they shouldn't not hiding on the in the iron docks boss they just keep hitting the boss when you get knocked back and go to, you have to hide behind, you have to hide behind some crates so you don't get hit with the cannon. The amount of people, the amount of DPSers that don't do this is kind of annoying, but we'll maybe do a video on that later. So we're gonna have to sharpen up, and that goes for everybody. So we're gonna have to sharpen up our tanking, our healing, DPS. We're gonna have to be uh, DPS in particular. We're gonna have to kill those ads. We're gonna have to be killing those ads now. That's the problem, I think, with Kuat Drive Yards. People have just leveled solely through Kuat Drive Yards uh, who don't really know about Kill Order. Because in Kuat Drive Yards, you're never really taught Kill Order. There's only one boss, which is the Droid Boss, which a lot of people die on. A lot of people don't realize that you have to kill the ads on that Droid Boss in Kuat Drive Yards because if you don't, he's going to get a very he's gonna, it gets his powered up attack and he becomes immune while he's got his powered up attack. So it's much quicker to kill him by killing the ads first. People who don't know that, I mean, yeah. Oh, I'm just going to kill the boss, it's going to be quicker. No, killing the ads is much quicker because if the boss is immune, you're going to do no damage to him. And his damage output is going to go through the roof. So if you get hit by his big charged up attack, you're going to die. The likelihood is you're going to die. I mean, he the amount of people that stand in red stuff in that, that big attack and get hit with it is quite annoying. Especially if you, well, if you're in the suppression fields as well, where you get stunned and then he does a full powered up attack. So we're going to have to sharpen up these kinds of things. Uh, and again, just kill those ads quickly. Just nuke them. They're not that hard to kill. I mean, it's DPS. Again, healers, we're going to have to be cleansing things. Again, we're going to have to be cleansing dots as soon as they go on. I do, I've been tanking Athos quite, I tanked Athos twice the other day. We're doing quite a lot of tanking HM flashpoints. I'm kind of enjoying it a little bit. I don't really tank ops that often. I mostly tank flashpoints. I prefer them, to be honest, as a tank. Uh, again, so I've been doing Athos, and again, the dot that goes on, the healer just doesn't cleanse it. So the healer just sits there and heals through that dot. And I guess you can heal through that dot on the final boss on Athos HM, but it's much easier, much quicker just to cleanse it as soon as it goes on much less for you to do as a healer and again as a healer if you're not doing if you're not as much healing required you can help out with dps as a healer so again it's in your best interest to help out with that as a healer so a lot of things that we're gonna have to do and uh, again tanks that do things like we they don't use the magnet on grob thok again we're gonna have to get out of those habits we've b picked up a lot of bad habits particularly dread fortress dread palace uh, not killing the uh, the repair droids on Corruptor Zero, not killing the first droid on Brontes. It's a real bugbear of mine. I hate that as a healer. I really hate it because you just thank you for just giving me a shit ton to do on the move, especially as a sage healer. It's really annoying. I mean, I guess in 3.0 we're going to be able to cast uh, a healing trance on the move at least, but as a sage healer currently I just get so pissed off because... I use my um, overload or whatever it's called on the Republic and that's it because I can't put my bubble out because everyone will run out of it. Or I have to get my bubble out on the next droid that people have moved on to so that I can get healed or what is it, revivication, not the bubble. Bubble's the defensive thing but it's kind of annoying, it's really annoying. All you've done is give your healers a shit ton of work to do. 
uh, basically. And you don't want that as a healer. As a healer, we want to see damage being prevented as much as possible because it makes the run go smoother. It means that we waste our force on things that can be prevented. It's just annoying because bear in mind that our gear level for the content will be lower. So our damage will be less, our healing will be less, the tank's mitigations will be less. So tanks are going to take more damage, going to require more healing, it's going to take longer to kill certain things because the DPS won't be as high. So we just need to sharpen up and make less mistakes. That's the, uh, the theme of this video. Now the video footage I'm showing you is a scum and villainy op that I did. Uh, last night, I think, yeah, it was last night, I did on my Sage, and, um, no, it wasn't last night, actually, it was a few days ago, because Scum, it was the Group Finder, Scum and Villainy, actually, um, but yeah, it was pretty bad, we got to Olok the Shadow, and we were really struggling, you can see from the footage, I will let this footage run to the end, so you can see if we did it or not, I'm not gonna give that away, but basically, the problem was that, the DPS just weren't focusing enough on the ads. That was basically it. The uh, shady character and what's the other one that spawns the R? Is it the arms dealer or something like that? I can never remember what he's called. But I was healing this, and again, I had to dip into my noble sacrifice quite a lot actually during this fight. It's quite a long fight, a lot of shadow. I will let that play. Uh, during this video so you can see if we make it or not but again if the DPS just all focused on the ads quicker they would have more DPS on the boss and it would have been done a lot quicker than this again it's not a problem for us right now because we're a lot of us are over geared a lot of those DPS in that group were a little bit under geared but again you should be focusing it was all about kill order basically that messed us up and someone messed up the puzzle of course uh, up the top so again so hopefully you can watch the rest of this and see if we wipe or not so thank you for joining me and i'll see you again soon and goodbye
funny it is stuff to the artists. Have fun. Huh?